everybody, before I start this video, I just had this cool logo animation done for an intro. I want you guys to give me feedback on it. So I'm gonna cut to it right now. Hey everybody, that looks good, doesn't it? We're gonna be doing something pretty special today. Uh, welcome back to Everyday Barbecue. My name is Mike, and today I'm gonna to be doing a caveman steak challenge. Uh, my buddy Steve over at DQ'd Barbecue invited me to participate in this collaboration video with him. I'll put a link, I think he's already done his. I'm gonna put a link to his channel or his video right up here, and uh, you guys can check that out. What's that, it didn't? There we go. All right, so. Anyway, what I'm going to do is keep this as simple as I can. I got a couple of my favorite uh, steak seasonings here with me. This is the Grilla Grills beef rub. This stuff is absolutely fantastic. I did a burger video with this maybe a couple weeks back, and I'm looking forward to trying this on steak. Guys, during the holidays, because it's uh, we're almost at New Year's. We just went through Christmas. I was putting this stuff on everything, uh, potato salad, mashed potatoes, everything. Uh, that we had pretty much and it I haven't found anything yet that it's not good on so I'm looking forward to trying it on steak because it did really well on burgers and of course I'm gonna crust this up with some Montreal steak seasoning now uh, the caveman steak video what is it uh, we're gonna light up some coals we're gonna get them good and hot we're gonna lay them down in the Weber kettle and we are just gonna put this steak right on the coals I've never done it before I don't know how long it's gonna take I know we got to flip it every couple minutes I've watched a few of these videos so I'm looking forward to giving this a try. Um, what kind of cut of meat do I have here? I've got a Kansas City strip. So what's the difference between a Kansas City strip and a New York strip? The Kansas City strip is a bone-in cut, which you can see right here. So it's a slightly different cut. And, uh, but basically from the exact same place. There's a restaurant in New York City called Delmonico's who back in the 30s started to serve this cut of meat and they just labeled it the New York strip and it uh, caught traction. So a lot of people think strip steak, always they think New York strip, but this was a real fine looking piece of meat at the store and I wanted to give this a try. So this is what we're gonna do. Uh, so anyway, let's get started on seasoning this bad boy up. We're gonna give it a, a good coat here of the Gorilla and this Montreal. And I know a lot of this, guys, is going to probably come off, um, you know, when I'm cooking out there. Let's get this side. I'm trying to just use one hand here so that I don't contaminate the seasoning. Let's get this side, flip it over. You know, I'm going to go a little bit heavy on this because I know a lot of this is probably going to come off when it touches the coals and whatnot. So we are just going to go heavy on it and hope that enough of it stays on. If not, you can always add some stuff. Uh, but there we go. I think we're looking pretty good. So my plan is we're gonna let this sit out here for a little bit and I don't know, let's get those coals started and get them good and hot. And uh, I'll cut back with you guys when we're doing that. Stay tuned. it's cold out here I really want to thank the uh, gentleman who invited me to do this video <laughs> just kidding it's gonna be fun okay so I got my coal started here pretty much just using some royal oak briquettes I thought I had some lump coal but I don't so we're gonna go with these briquettes and uh, they're started so while those steaks are inside getting ready to come out here I'm gonna let these bad boys get nice and hot when it's time to dump these out and make the bed I'll bring you back okay I want to show you how cold it is just so you know I'm not lying. My wife's going to show you there on her phone. It's cold. Can't see. Whatever. <laughs> I think it's like one degree. Zero. It's zero. It's zero, it's zero degrees. Um, but anyway. Feels like minus 21. Feels like minus 21. That's awesome. All right, so now that I'm good and stinky from standing next to this, I'm going to get my butt back inside and uh, wait for these to warm up, then I'll bring you back. All right, guys, these coals are good and hot. They're ashed over. I'm going to go ahead and 
dump these out here and make a nice bed for this uh, steak to go on to. for a little bit and then we're gonna get that steak on there stay with me all right guys here we go I got a nice hot bed of coals never done this before I hope we get a nice sizzle and sear um, all right here we go let's take this thing off here you know this is a really cool board by the way um, Yukon glory sent it to me it's a nice compact cutting board or serving board and it makes it easy for carrying on and off the porch so here we go you guys ready? I'll just do it from there. Yeah, it's sizzling up real good. All right. So we're going to let this go right on the coals. We're going to go like every two minutes we're going to flip. I've got my thermometer out here with me, this uh, Thermapro. And so I'll be back in a couple minutes and we'll check and see what this thing looks like. It's been about a minute and a half. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, look at that sear. And that rub, surprisingly, is it seems like it's hanging on pretty well. I can see this is going to be a really charred exterior, but I guess that's probably fine. I'm sure that's to be expected. So we're going to let that go another minute and a half. And then we're going to start flipping every minute, and I'm going to start taking temps. I want to get this to about 130-ish. So... Just uh, give me a few seconds, I'll be right, right guys, back. I hit 135 inside. She's nice and charred there on the outside. Now we're gonna take it inside, let it rest, and cut it open. All right, guys, I got this thing off the uh, coals, brought it inside, let it rest for a few minutes. I hope it's not overcooked. It's so hard, it cooks so fast out there like that. Nice uh, crust on the outside from the seasoning and obviously from just cooking it the way we did. So let's cut this open here and let's see what we got. Now it looks like we got some red, maybe not as much as I might like. I was shooting for about 130 and I think I, I got through 130 there, probably closer to maybe 140-ish. But we still got some pink. And man, is it juicy and moist. I mean, that's one thing I'm gonna say for sure. So much juice in there. And I just took a piece right out of the center. Let's go ahead and let's try this out. Wow. Man, that's really good. There's a steakhouse back where I grew up that used to make charred steaks like this and I don't know how they do it but that's kind of what it reminds me of um, it's got uh, it's super juicy it's got a lot of flavor from that seasoning and from the method that we used to cook it but uh, hey anyway that's it that's my first caveman steak I hope you guys enjoyed it check it out I mean there's just so much juice in there I hate to let you guys go without maybe giving you a little bit better shot. That side's probably a little overcooked, but we did hit it in the middle, pretty close to what I wanted anyway. Not bad for a first try, but yeah, anyway, so thanks to DQ Barbecue for inviting me to do this challenge. I really appreciate it. It was cool and it was fun. Cool, it was not cool, it was cold. It was like one degree outside. So it was, it was cold, not cool. Um, anyway, appreciate it. I hope you guys will like this video, subscribe to my channel, take care. I'll talk to you later.